And I backed up the server, and I reset the thrusters, and I'm thinking of recording a video, and... Houston? Houston, are you there? Okay, you just bored someone. But it doesn't have to happen. There's this age-old thing called story. It has a structure we're programmed to understand. You may have heard this from all the recent books and people talking about the power of story, and yet, you may still be wondering, how? Here's your answer. The ABT. It's the universal narrative template. And, but, and therefore. It goes back to the Greeks, to Hegel the philosopher, and all the way up to the creators of South Park. Every good story fits this template. Set up, twist, punchline. That's what comics call it. Situation conflict resolution. That's what MBAs call it. And guess who's used it? Abe Lincoln with the Gettysburg Address. And Watson and Crick when they reported the structure of DNA. Your favorite movies fall into the ABT. I could tell you the story of a little girl on a farm in Kansas and her life is boring. But then one day a tornado takes her to the land of Oz. Therefore, she must find her way home. Or a doctor could tell you your pulse is fine and your blood pressure is normal, but she can hear a wheeze in your lungs. Therefore, she's going to order some tests. You've heard of the elevator pitch, telling your whole story in a short elevator ride. The ABT is the narrative structure that guarantees what you say is both concise and compelling. Well, I'm annoyed that guy fell asleep and... I have to call him back, but the ABT might help. Therefore, I'm going to give it a shot. It's the ABT, the DNA of story. You can read more about it in my new book, Houston, We Have a Narrative, published by University of Chicago Press.